As the world grapples with global warming and climate change, decarbonization is now a shared goal among almost every country on the planet. And while alternate sources of fuel are gaining momentum, one remains underutilized and occasionally misunderstood. Hydrogen fuel cells. When you think about fuel cell technology, how do you think about it in the context of integrating it with other energy sources, wind and solar as an example, which are important to us decarbonizing our energy resources. But there's a challenge. Those resources only work on an intermittent basis. And so you need technologies that allow you to have power 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fuel cell technologies fit that bill. Another way is by producing hydrogen and then storing that hydrogen. And then when we need that power, reversing that hydrogen and using that hydrogen as the energy carrier or the fuel to produce zero carbon power. As a global leader in fuel cell technology, Connecticut-based Fuel Cell Energy believes decarbonization does not mean deindustrialization and is striving to prove this theory by harnessing the power of hydrogen. Fuel Cell Energy technology does two things, decarbonizes power and produces hydrogen. And with our platforms, we bring in a feedstock or a fuel and we effectively reform and make hydrogen. And we use that hydrogen to make power. We can deliver electricity, we can deliver thermal energies like steam or hot water. We also can do things like capture carbon, which we think are very important elements to actually achieving the climate goals that are set by the Paris Climate Accord. Oftentimes, when people talk about decarbonization, that also then follows with a need to deindustrialize. Do we really want to deindustrialize society? How do we do this in a smart way? We believe that fuel cell technologies allow us to do just that. If we can produce power on a 24 hour a day, seven day a week basis in a clean, environmentally safe way, then those industries that rely on heavy power to make the products that they produce, we can solve that problem. Fuel Cell Energy is the only alternative energy company that can produce green hydrogen while also supplying clean, carbon-negative power and water at the same time. With several different carbon-capturing capabilities, they are leading the charge against greenhouse gases. We are trying to extract carbon dioxide from the exhaust of power plants or boilers. What makes carbon capture difficult is CO2 is in the exhaust of a power plant or the exhaust of a boiler, what we call the flue gas, very low concentration, but very well mixed with that gas, which is mostly air. It's hard to separate carbon dioxide from the oxygen and the nitrogen in that gas. You have to use some special purification techniques. Ours happens to uniquely make power while we do the purification. Our fuel cells produce hydrogen. We send a methane-based fuel into our fuel cells, convert that fuel to hydrogen, and use the hydrogen to make power. We can make extra hydrogen and export that hydrogen. So now you have a system that makes power and hydrogen. We can also use hydrogen as a fuel in our fuel cells. We can also run our fuel cells in reverse in electrolysis mode, send power into the fuel cell to split water into hydrogen and oxygen and efficiently make hydrogen that way. The way fuel cells turn methane into electricity is to take methane, feed that to the fuel cell, and the fuel cell will convert that into hydrogen. That hydrogen can then be converted to electricity and any unused hydrogen can then be separated off and be used as a product for something else. What is exciting about hydrogen as a fuel source is that hydrogen can be cleanly burned without producing any greenhouse gas emissions. It just produces water when it's burned. Carbon neutral hydrogen is hydrogen that is produced with no net carbon greenhouse gas emissions and no net carbon footprint. Steel and glass industries in particular use a lot of thermal energy and of course, a lot of electricity. Solar and wind are great renewable energies, but they are not available 24 seven or on demand. We are trying to work together with solar and wind to meet all the demands. Fuel Cell Energy's tri-generation system is being implemented by Toyota to deliver power, water, and hydrogen at their port of Long Beach operation. 
Toyota's sustainability goals are really to decarbonize our vehicles at the tailpipe. The partnership between Toyota and Fuel Cell Energy dates back several years now. We entered this agreement together with the intent to drive renewable fuels to the market in the Southern California area. Together, we have been building a plant that will produce 100% renewable hydrogen and 100% renewable electricity, delivering a sustainable and carbon neutral option for vehicles in the port. By developing and deploying their tri-generation technology, Fuel Cell Energy is helping to bring 100% renewable fuel to a whole new generation and class of zero emission vehicles that are being made by manufacturers like Toyota. We have lots of plans in terms of how our technology is going to play a significant role in our energy transition. Abundant, always available power is key to providing energy security. And fuel cell technology gives you the ability to actually provide energy security 24 hours a day, seven days a week, power being there when you need it. If businesses, leaders, and consumers alike can start viewing fuel cells as a crucial piece of the transition to clean energy, we can accelerate our carbon zero goals. Learn more today about fuel cell energy, enabling the world empowered by clean energy.